Today we're going to be taking Matt's gaming PC that's already really good and we're going to be absolutely smashing it with a PC that is so much better you couldn't even believe it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Are you looking for a great budget gaming laptop deal? Well today's video sponsor AMD has you covered with the MSI Bravo 15 featuring the RX 6500M with its 4 gigs of VRAM which is absolutely perfect for esports gaming and some AAA title gaming on the go, a Ryzen 7 5800H with its 8 cores and 16 threads, a perfect processor for content creation, 3D rendering, and other demanding multitasking scenarios, while also rocking a nice 15.6 inch 1080p 144Hz display for a smooth and clear gaming experience. Right now you can get this laptop for under $700 while supplies last by checking the link in the description down below. We actually made a video on this laptop as well, benchmarking some of our favorite titles, so definitely take a look at that, and this gaming laptop should be on your short list if you're in the market for an upgrade or purchasing your first system. System. And also check the link in the description down below today to cash in on this awesome deal while supplies last. And big thanks again to our friends at AMD for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? For the CPU, we have the Intel i5-13600KF. So this CPU right here is absolutely amazing because it has performance and efficiency cores, meaning it's a 14 core 20 thread. Matt is upgrading from an i9-10900K and you're probably thinking, i9 to i5, that's not an upgrade. I promise you it is. You will see later how amazing this thing performs. Now for the cooler, we have an NZXT Kraken Z73 that has an LCD display. So we're very excited to be using this cooler. This one does not actually come with the RGB fans to our knowledge. Well, yeah, it literally is on the front. No RGB fans. So we are going to be putting these fans, which are their F120 duos, and it comes with three of them. It comes with the controller. So that should be very simple. And hopefully all these work together really well. Normally I've had good luck with NZXT. Now for the motherboard, we have this NZXT NZXT N7Z790. This is a crazy looking motherboard. So NZXT is known for having like these really clean minimalist designs where they really hide everything with a lot of metal. So it looks really sick and it's going to perform very well. And it's DDR5. Now for RAM, 32 gigs from Lexar. This is 6,000 megahertz. That's pretty freaking insane. And it's of course DDR5 because yeah, you can't really go that fast with DDR4. And this looks really cool too. I don't think I've used the Aries just yet. So I'm excited to see it. Now for the storage, this is one of the fastest ones I've seen. Two terabyte NM800 Pro from Lexar. And look at that, 7,500 megabytes per second. That's pretty insane. Two terabytes, you definitely can't go wrong with this drive right here. Big shout out to our friends at PNY for sending over this RTX 4070 Ti. Now, I could have gone really crazy with a 4080, 4090 or something like that. That, but realistically, the 4070 Ti is more than enough power because we really only live stream at 1080p and game at 1080p for the most maximum performance. So I really don't need much more than the 4070 Ti. And even then, like it's very underutilized other than the fact that I just want to play Warzone and stream it better. So yeah, really awesome car for PNY. I think it's gonna look really nice in this case. Now talk about overkill. This is the C1200 Gold 1200 watt power supply from NZXT. Now by no means do we recommend you get a 1200 watt power supply for a 4070 Ti build. You don't need it. But NZXT sent this power supply over thinking, you know what, the Toasty Bros is gonna do a higher end build with it, a 4090, but we're using a 4070 Ti. But it does come with the ATX 3.0 connector, so we only need one cable to plug into that 4070 Ti. And in theory, there's upgrades in the future if I wanted to end up upgrading this to something else. Now this right here, again, NZXT, I apologize for hanging on to this case for so long, love you. This right here, is the H9 Elite, which is the version that comes with three pre-installed fans. I know it might be hard to see on camera, Jonah, but there are three pre-installed RGB fans on the side right there that, that I believe are reverse blade fans. So it will be intaking from this massive mesh panel in the back. So there's a lot of room for airflow and there's still a lot of glass all the way around. I believe they have a flow version as well that has a uh, perforated top up here. So you get more airflow coming in, but you know what? I opted for this one because it has the RGB fans installed. And I think that's a really good value. And as Jackson mentioned, we'll be adding some other fans in there to try to fill this thing out. But altogether, this build is around like $2,500. You could optimize it a little bit better with a lesser crazy power supply and all that if you're building this at home. But for this build, I think it's gonna work out perfectly. Let's not waste more time. And put it together. Guys, we're playing Halo Infinite and we're at 1440p with ultra quality preset and 200 wow. FPS. Yes. <laughs> you look at the latencies. That's that's Sheesh. some insane Halo gameplay right there, ladies and gentlemen. We, we could be doing 4K. 
I'd imagine at 4K, we'd probably only drop like maybe 70 to 100 FPS at max quality. So we'd still be getting 144. This guy thinks he can snipe me. We're playing ranked today, guys. This is getting serious. I said, if I'm gonna go against sweaty people that are tryharding in normals, I may as well be playing ranked. How did the guys punch reach me? That was crazy. Come here, boy. Got him. Nice try, bud. Oh, God. Ouchie. Oh. oh wait! Oh, I got that guy. You got him, dude! Nice. I can't believe I hit that. Oh, oh my God! It's a lot of grenades. Oh. oh. Give me that sniper, boy. Yoink. Oh. oh. Got my flag in broad daylight. You try to do the thing again. Let's go, wait. That was some weird lag. Oh, I want to one more. Hey! Woo! Oh, God! <laughs> <Got> banned, <it>. <laughs> banned! But yeah, that's Halo. That Runs was great. That was awesome. Next game. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 at 1440p uh, using DLSS balanced and pretty much high settings ultra across the board. And uh, we're in the warm-up lobby, but we're getting 100, 200 plus FPS at 1440p. The 4070 Ti honestly can stretch into 4K until you get to some really crazy AAA titles. I might use a ton of VRAM. Right now we're using about eight gigs of VRAM at 1440p, so there is some wiggle room there. Um, but uh, yeah, so far, so good. And I think this will make a big difference when it comes to the live streams. Can I resurge? Oh God, he hits his shots. Ooh. Yeah. Take that. Oh. That guy must have been low. Yes. They're fighting. Uh. Clean up the mess. There's someone else in here. He was running from someone, but what? That guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that oh, guy! Oh. Dang. My man's got a laser gun. Oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. You have 40 seconds. Oh. I couldn't resurge. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. But you know what? Mikhail's got a couple kills out of that. And um, yeah, the PC performs very well. I mean, the combination works out. And overall, this was just kind of a showcase of what the PC is going to be for the live streams. But we'll go ahead and do a switch to some built in benchmarks. We got Cyberpunk, and we'll play a little bit of Jedi Survivor to show you guys um, how an unoptimized game runs on this <laughs> PC. Uh, spoiler alert there are still some issues, but we'll show you guys those numbers and just kind of wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking Matt's future gaming PC, and I know he's super excited. I'm definitely excited, too. I'm glad that we'll be able to take the streams to the next level. We'll actually be able to play games like Warzone, Halo Infinite, Apex, Overwatch at very high settings without dropping frames. Yeah, it's going to be a really good upgrade. If you guys want to be a part of these PC giveaway streams, definitely go follow our Twitch, twitch.tv slash Bros. Every single morning, Monday through Friday, we build gaming PCs, but then every single month, we do a PC giveaway stream. So if you want a chance to win a gaming PC, go follow the stream so you don't miss out on the next one. And if you want to build this gaming PC yourself, check those links down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. Let us know what you like about this PC. If you have any questions or concerns about the configuration, let us know in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Peace out. And if you want a custom gaming PC like this one right here, we can totally do that for you over at PC Bros. But we also have a whole category of PCs that are ready to ship. PC Bros. I tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even merch. We have a lot of cool merch and some mouse pads coming to the website. Stay tuned for that. And use code TOSIBROS21 to check out the save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye.